Hey, so I'm up in Auckland, New Zealand for the weekend. So I reached out to a good friend and fellow biohacker Trudy from biohacker.co.nz and uh, asked if I could stay with her for the weekend. She said yes, so uh, let's go in and have a look what uh, another Kiwi's biohacker's house looks like. First things first, I noticed this. Notice the red light. I don't know if it's like a Halloween theme or if she's got some pretty cool light therapy devices inside. Anyway, let's go have a look. Alright, I'm inside. I gotta admit, I got a pretty sweet guest room. Check this out. We start off. Yeah, wait. Yeah, Oasis air filter going in the room. Not too shabby. Then we come over here. Nice little uh, Himalayan rock salt with a red bedside lamp going on. Pretty impressed. But it gets better. Pretty sweet little sweat set up here. Complimentary uh, bulletproof fat water and a few collagen bars with some nice plants. Not too bad, huh? All right, let's go see what else is in uh, Trudy's biohacking house here in Auckland. Infrared sauna. Books by Dave Asprey. Supplements. Brain off thing and ghee. And the cocktail glass. Bulletproof torture devices. No, I think it's some sleep enhancing device. Free range chickens. Free range eggs. New brain trainers. Water filters. Gauss meter? Or is it gauss meter? Anyway, it's here. Organic wine and homemade ginger beer. Red light bulbs. Red light therapy devices. And fireworks. Pretty cool, huh? This is where we're gonna have dinner tonight. Speaking of which, let's go see what it is for dinner. All right, and Trudy has made me uh, what bulletproof approved meal. Uh -huh. Let's see what she's whipped up for us. Say hi, Trudy. Hey. All right, what do we got? What do we got for dinner? Looks good. Uh, smells good. We've got Angus beef grass-fed burgers, um, seasoned with turmeric and Himalayan salt, some organic kumara and parsnip and carrot courgette, and cauliflower with the veggies from the local farmers market and some bulletproof mayo. Sounds pretty good, huh? I'm pretty lucky. Let's dive in. And wait for it, the best thing yet. Cute little adorable wabbits. Hey buddy, how are you? <laughs> Remember these guys, Qualia? So I've taken them last week, I think it was. Uh, full dose was way too much, you know, jittery, spacey, hit a wall in the afternoon, which you're not really meant to do. Um, it was way too much for me. So I cut it down to a two third dose. That was a, a lot more manageable, uh, a lot easier to handle for me. Um, so precious, huh? Um, but I ended up set, settling on a, a one third dosage. So, yeah, most people would be like, really, one third? Like it's tiny, but it was good for me. I mean, it, gets me going through the day. Um, I get the benefits of, of these amazing ingredients, but I'm not bouncing off walls or uh, trying to figure out uh, whether my heart's gonna explode or you know my head's gonna pop or something like that. So I went through the dose is much more manageable. Rebecca, she's actually taking exactly the same amount um, and she can handle it much better than I can. Soft, huh? Anyway, but yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, that, that's me with the qualia. Nothing really to report on in the garden front this week other than my potatoes are starting to come up, which is good. And strawberries are coming out. Oh, and the lawns really, really need doing. So it might be time to do that. Lawns are done, now it's time for dinner. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this sweet potato, or kumita, as they call it here in New Zealand, uh, I'm gonna turn it into sweet potato fries. And you're probably thinking, really? You're gonna film this? And that's exactly how I feel. I'm like, really? I'm gonna film this? But it is um, it is a staple in our household. And um, a lot of people don't cook them. I don't know why. And they think it's difficult. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is and how good they look once they come out of it. I was gonna say how, how good they taste, but uh, you're not gonna be able to find that out. So um, anyway, you can make it at home. So let's do this. All right, so what I do is I use these cooking oils. Uh, coconut oil from blue coconut and uh, beef dripping, which is a New Zealand grass-fed beef. 
beef dripping. And I'll just put that into the dish. So I put that in the oven. And while that's happening, we can peel the potato. All right, so the kumite is peeled. The uh, fat has melted. Now it's time to make chippies. Check them in, spread them around, cover them in oil, and uh, put them in the oven. All right, so it's been about an hour, so um, let's, let's get the sweet potatoes. Look pretty good. So they might be a tiny bit dry, but uh, I usually add a bit of butter and have them with um, plenty of raw milk and, and extra butter to uh, a bit hot, but they're pretty, pretty good though. Try it, sweet potato chips. Try them sometime, let me know how you get on. Look what I've got. Meat, lots of meat. So I remember my friend Trudy, uh, who I stayed with in Auckland, the biohacker. When I was up there, um, she was telling me about this amazing New Zealand grass-fed meat she gets um, from Green Meadows Beef. The farm's just based in Okanaki, which is just around the corner from here. Well, probably about 45 minutes ago. So yeah, they had like some pretty cool stuff on their site, saying it was uh, not necessarily organic, but it was all, you know, spray-free and grass-fed and grass-finished. Um, no antibiotic use, you know, if there was antibiotic use, they separated it. Uh, no pesticides and all that. It was, it was really cool. I was like, man, that, that's awesome. Especially because I've been struggling to get um, certain cuts of meat. That's cool. Personal message. So yeah, like I said, it all comes in ice. These are the brisket bones, but they they call them pet bones because they got so much fat on them. So these are great for broth and you get a ton of um, fat on it. So if you haven't made uh, bone broth before, check out the video, how to make broth. It's on my channel on YouTube, and also I've got a pretty comprehensive um, article on bone broth. I think it's everything you need to know about bone broth at alexfix.com, check that out. But honestly, it's like super simple to make. Soup bones, Angus sirloin roast, sausages, gluten-free sausages, uh, rum cap. It was just over a hundred bucks. They actually do like, you can buy a half half a beast or even quarter of a beast or, or a whole beast um, which is pretty cool I mean it's a lot of meat I think whole beast is about 200 kilos of meat but uh, it works out a little bit cheaper and you get a pretty good range of, of meat so something I'm gonna look into but you really need to have the freezer space for it um, so we just recently got a, a little freezer I don't know, a couple hundred liters uh, so you can start buying in bulk and freezing some of this and you know getting things when it's cheaper so there's a quick tip for you This week I'm reading Jab, 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 Right Hook by Gary Vaynerchuk. Vaynerchuk? Anyway, subheading, how to tell your story in a noisy social media world. So yeah, not your typical health book or fitness book or uh, psychology book or, you know, the general things I read. Um, I do run a business and uh, every now and then I read marketing books and business books. So yeah, I'm not going to go into too much detail around this. Instead, I'm going to ask you for a favor, and that is two things actually. First, like me on Facebook. I think it's Facebook slash Coach Alex Vegas. Secondly, um, let me know what you think of these videos, because like I said in week one, episode one, uh, I just want to do like half a dozen or so and um, try it. And if people enjoy it or get something from it, then I'll, I'll keep doing it. If not, if it's a waste of time, then uh, of course I'll, I'll stop sitting here and videoing myself. So yeah, let me know your feedback and uh, feel free to follow me on Facebook if you're not already. But if you're into marketing, check it out. I'm only a 50 pages in, but it is good. Um, enjoy it. So uh, yeah, that's all. Yo, so I'm about to train. It's my weekly session, Friday afternoon. Um, so I'm just gonna whip up my pre-workout. So usually I have the perfect keto pre-workout supplement, which has a bit of creatine, a bit of alanine, uh, some dried MCT, MCT powder. Uh, it's pretty good, it's got some ketone salts in it as well, but it does have a bit of caffeine, so I don't take that when I'm training in the afternoon. And unfortunately, I don't even have any of it with me at the moment. So instead, I'll just have the uh, amino acids. Uh, this is the Ben Greenfield Nature Aminos. It, all it is, is um, eight essential amino acids. So, what is it? Leucine, valine, isoleucine, lysine, phenylalanine, 
theranine, methionine, tryptophan. That's all it is. All right. So yeah, I have a little bit of this, and uh, sometimes I add some baking soda, and that's about it. Cheers. All right, so today I'm sticking to the big list again. Deadlifts, pull-ups, front squats, floor presses, and a hang. What I, what I do most times, I know it's getting pretty boring now, but that's what I do. Alright, it's my warm up done, so I've got 140 on the bar now. Alright, that was easy. Uh, so we're gonna go up to 180 now on the deal list. Uh, so it's 180, we'll go up to 200 now and go up to 20 kilos on the gym. Alright, so that was getting tough there. Uh, so we'll go up to 210 for the next deadlift. We'll just call it there. We'll do the floor press in the front squat. See how the body goes with that. Front squat time, so we're gonna do 60, which is on there now, up to 80, 100, 120 for eight. And we'll see how 120 is feeling because I uh, had a bit of a negative 121 40 last week. So we'll see how the back's holding up. But uh, yeah, finish it up. Front squat was nothing special, but you know, it's still doing some okay numbers given the really low volume I've been doing. And it's been for quite a while now as well. If you look back at some of my old Instagram posts. So anyway, hit like, comment, question, questions, share with your friends, tag friends if, if you think someone would be interested in it, and uh, be sure to subscribe. I don't always do training videos, but let me know what you like seeing. If you want to see more training, if you want to see more diet, if you want to see more biohacks, just let me know, okay? Because no one's paying me to do this, so I'm just doing it for fun and for you guys. So take care, it's Alex from alexfigures.com.